If you're struggling in your dating life and you're constantly being rejected, put in the friend zone, getting ghosted, or just never really have conversations take any kind of romantic turn, chances are you're not getting the proper dating advice that's gonna help you make actual improvements to give you that kind of dating success that you want. A lot of times the mistake that people make is that they keep trying the same thing over and over, hoping that this time it's actually gonna work for them. That can mean using the same dull openers, asking the same boring questions, or wearing the same unfortunate flattering outfit on every date that you go on. Now, a lot of people don't really have someone in their corner coaching them and helping them and inspiring them to make that change. And when you do get advice from people, it's hard to hear sometimes. And there are three reasons why. Acknowledging that you need help, especially with something as private as dating, can be scary. There's a fear that people are going to mock you or belittle you because dating is just something you're supposed to figure out on your own. Turning to other people and asking for advice or help might make you just feel and look weak. Plus, being vulnerable in dating is scary. Putting your raw, authentic self out there means that this person could take full advantage of that and hurt you on the deepest of levels. Not to mention the fact that there's also this facade that we feel like we need need to keep up in dating, like everything's cool, we got it all under control, when in reality you might not. Not to mention the fact that sometimes getting criticism might just completely shut you down at your core. You don't want to get negative feedback from someone, especially when you're trying so incredibly hard to make something work. All that's going to do is make you want to just give up on dating. Thus, you end up doing the same thing over and over, getting the same results and getting more and more frustrated. Well, I think it's time for you to change that. There are specific people that I want you to start reaching out to that you're going to get feedback from and it's going to help start to change the way you see dating and the process in which you go about it. Some people may disagree with me here, so if you're one of them, leave your comments down below and explain why, but when it comes to getting dating advice, I think you should ask the person who rejected you for help. The reason why I say that is because they're going to tell you what turned them off, what they didn't like. What about the interactions just kind of killed the spark for them? They are probably the most recent person you can ask that's going to give you the most up-to-date information about your dating style. Of course, the challenge there is that if you were to ask them straight up, why'd you reject me? They're not going to give you an honest and brutal answer. No one ever wants to look like a jerk for rejecting someone else. So you might get a soft, simple answer like the chemistry wasn't there or I just didn't really see between us. Something safe and easy, which is why you need to ask that question in the right kind of way. It needs to be done in a more objective kind of way, sort of like a pay it forward type of system. That's why I would frame the question like this. Hey, things didn't work out between us, which is totally cool, but I wanted to get your take on something. What is one thing that you think I can improve about myself, my appearance, my approach that can help me in my dating life? Any advice would be wonderful. When you say it like that, it gives the person enough space to think a little bit more critically about what went wrong. If they were to share something, especially if it was kind of embarrassing on your end, they're not going to feel like they're the one tearing you down, but they're actually trying to lift you up to make you better for the next person that you date. If you're struggling in your dating life, I think another important person you can always turn to and ask for help is going to be a close friend or family member. Usually they're someone who has the eye on what your life looks like from the outside. They can watch you talk to people, they can watch you interact, they see you in those social situations in a way that you really don't get to see yourself. The challenge you may run into though is that friends and family can sometimes be kind of biased. They may have an idea of what they think your life should look like because they know you. So when they see you pursuing something that they don't think is right for you or they just don't like, they may kind of steer you away or towards specific decisions. That's why asking them to just give you dating advice isn't going to be helpful. Most people just relay what works for them and assume it might work for you too. Instead, you want to be very specific with how you phrase the question and I think you should do it like this. If you are with your friends and family somewhere and you're planning on approaching people, pull someone in your close group aside and say this, hey, can you observe my mannerisms and body language as I walk up to people and talk to them? How are they responding? Does it look like they're interested in the conversation or pulling back? Give me that exact feedback, not personal opinions, not critiques, not advice or judgment on what you think I should or shouldn't be doing. Just tell me the exact observable things that you see and how things are playing out. 
When you ask them to put their personal opinions aside, they start to approach things a little bit more tactically. They start to pick up on things that just go over your head. Maybe you look down at your feet when you talk to people. Maybe you don't project your voice. Maybe you leave awkward pauses in conversations and that's when the person starts to look away and look around for other people to talk to. All this information is good information to get from people that care about you and wanna see you succeed. And those are good starting points to get some type of feedback from people who generally know you, but if you wanna see a real impact on your dating life in the form of success in how you approach people and talk to them, the best thing you could probably do is to work with some type of mentor or coach or therapist that can help rewrite some of the systems that you've created in your own mind. Things like negative self-talk, past influential dating trauma, or even just a lack of core beliefs in what you care about, being able to express that and share that in the dating space. Having this outside objective third party in your corner might actually give you the confidence you need to believe that you can succeed in dating. They may do things like review your text conversations to see where you dropped the ball or where there were missed opportunities. They may watch you approach people or encourage you to go to more social events so you can pursue more people actively rather than just picking one person, putting all your eggs into one basket and hoping things work. But it all has to start with acknowledging that seeking help is part of the growth process, that being vulnerable is a strength and not a weakness, and that trying new things and getting feedback can be a positive part of your life and not a negative one. So start reaching out to people, gather as much feedback as you can from multiple sources and identify what the common denominators are that they keep bringing up because that's gonna give you the first step that you need to start tackling. I know you have what it takes to be somebody great. You can find someone to love you and you are capable of loving someone else in return. You just have to keep working on it. On that note, I'll talk to you next time. As always, love and peace.